Hi, welcome to The Child's View. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, children experiencing stress. And it's important to understand that children do experience stress, even if they're, you know, real little and real young. You may think that, what do they have to be stressful about? Uh, anything that is uncertain to them can become very stressful. And so I just wanted to share with you some of the signs of stress. In young children, um, they may pick up new habits like thumb sucking, hair twirling, uh, nose picking. <laughs> um, <laughs> if they were potty trained, they may revert back and start having accidents. Um, and then if they're a little bit older, they may begin to lie. Uh, bully other children and um, start defying authority. So it's important to recognize that sometimes some of the behavior that's happening and when you see a child acting out, it's really that they're stressed and they're not telling you, they're not in touch with it themselves to let you know that. Um, so today we'll share about some stories about how we help reduce stress in children. And I hope you enjoy that. All right, so. <laughs> I know early, I know we were talking earlier about um, the stressful situation your your little oh. guy had at the preschool. Oh yeah. Okay, so many years ago, um, I had this little person and um, this little person stopped napping while started having some accidents. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get to the bottom of this asking mom, you know, is there any Thing changing at home or you know you you and dad okay is anything changed with the family life no everything's fine is there anything that you can think that might cause her any stress no I don't know what it is okay so we kept going kept going and it kept getting worse and so finally the little person said to me um, Miss Sharon we're, we're moving and I'm never ever ever going to see you again and she's just crying and crying and so I thought wow okay and so when mom, came, when mom came, I said, well, so you didn't tell me you were moving. Where, where is it that you're moving to? And at the time, I worked at a little preschool, and um, she said, we're not moving out of town. We're moving down the street from here. <laughs> and so she told me the part of town that she was moving in. And so I said, okay. So the next day, we went on a, um, I told the kids we were going on a nature hike. And so we walked down crossed one street and walked down to the opening of this particular mm -hmm. area and the big sign that said there then where they were moving I guess I could tell you she mm -hmm. said Miss Sharon we're moving to Stockdale Estates and I'll never see you again it's way far away <laughs> and so I walked down and, and we have the whole class there and, and here the opening is to this particular um, <laughs> part of town and I said, sweetie, do you know what this says? And she said, no, and she's still like so oh, sad. No. Oh. I said, it says Stockdale Estates, you're moving here. And it was just like, oh! <laughs> yeah, awesome. it was, yeah, all the stress washed away. Yes. It was, yeah. but the thing is, mom did not equate that problem of moving as right. being stressed because it's right. not, it wasn't stress in her adult life. Mm -hmm. right. And yeah. so we oftentimes as adults don't think about right our adult problems right. being pushed down to children. Oh, yeah. right. and, and just a small problem that we think of as everyday problems become massive problems and, yeah. and they dwell on them. And, and because they don't have that, that frontal lobe mm -hmm. developed yet, right. they, they, they don't have that coping skill and they don't have that, that critical thinking skill. Mm. And so it becomes Much huge. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then it causes all of these right problems that we were just talking about yeah well and it, it can be you take them to Disneyland or to the beach and you stay the night somewhere else just changing beds yes can cause stress you know what else can cause stress is if somebody comes to their house your house to visit mm -hmm. grandma comes to visit and you have to leave your bed oh, right oh, any change right. because somebody's coming in to yes. sleep and that's the only you know that you don't have a spare bedroom so this is the bedroom right. and, and and the child gets kicked out to the we try to make it happy. Oh, we'll camp out in the living room. Right. But really, it's not. <laughs> right. right. Things like right. that, you're yes. right. Changing, changing the routine. Yes. Changing yep. the routine. The yeah. unknown. Yep. yep. Well, and oftentimes, because of these behaviors that children exhibit, it might be considered bad behavior. 
right? right? Or something we need exactly. to discipline. And so in much of my reading, one of the things is don't discipline this. You've got to figure out what's causing this. Mm -hmm. You know, don't look at this as a bad behavior. Look at what the root of the problem is. You know, what triggered this? What's the fear? Because typically it's fear and confusion. Mm -hmm. And they, like you said, they just can't analyze this. They can't, you know, think mm -hmm. critically about, well, what does this really mean? They don't think well, like that. The funny thing you said that because when this little girl started having accidents at, at nap time, she was also having accidents at home and she, mm. she hadn't had accidents the whole entire year mm. in, you know, in the classroom. And so her mother said, well, she's having accidents at home. I think maybe she needs to go to the doctor. She might have a, a urinary, urinary tract, tract infection. Uh oh. Right. And <laughs> Yeah. It was like, so when I finally afraid. told her, oh my gosh, <laughs> mom just about had a cow. I know, Ooh. because it can be really, not, I mean, not simple for children, right. but for us, it's like, oh my gosh, I just need to Didn't explain this differently, right. or take them there, or give them something right. concrete to process it with, or read a book, yeah. or, you know, there's just uh, many times quick fixes, and we make it much bigger than it is. But even with the doctor, you know, a lot of times that's one of those things we just check off. Yeah. Let's check right. this, let's check right. this. Sure. But, but oftentimes it's, you know, let's Something just else. question, let's add, yeah, you know, let's yeah. just get to the root of this. And yeah, yeah. yeah. I think um, uncertainty as well. You know, last year we experienced COVID and all of the kids were um, kept at home and they couldn't right. go to school. And so all of their routines were just upset. And I think that caused stress for parents yeah. oh, and definitely. for children. Definitely. And sometimes I think, you know, when parents are going through divorce or there's different um, situations where they're under stress themselves, mm -hmm. it's really hard to manage their child's stress. Yep. And I, I think it's important to say that we need to sometimes take a step back, even when we are stressed out ourselves and um, separate ourselves from that to help our child uh, because they are feeling our stress and experiencing our stress just as much as we are and not to ignore them in the, in the midst of our right. uh, turmoil. And sometimes if you're having a conversation with your significant other, not that you're having a, an, an altercation, mm -hmm. but just talking about a situation mm -hmm. that you're working through yourself as right. stress. If that little ear is listening to you, mm -hmm. then that that stress becomes Bigger. magnified, right. and yeah. and right. because they right. don't understand all the the ins and outs of those kind right. of things. Well, right. and even babies, when you have moms that are depressed or anxious, they will take on that energy. Mm -hmm. Like babies will exhibit some of the same you know behaviors. Yeah. Or if mom looks really depressed, baby, you know, there's a whole change in their features. Yes. Imagine what. You know, a three and four year old who's, you know, processing this and, you know, experiencing those feelings yeah. is dealing with it. Must it must be scary. It must yes. be scary. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, there's so many things we can do to relieve our own stress and our children. Mm -hmm. Whether it's take a walk, whether it's sitting down and coloring, whether right. it's taking warm baths, where, well, whether it's, you know, just having conversations at dinner. Yes. So, whether it's breathing. <laughs> deep Taking breaths. time, deep breaths. Yeah. And, yes. and, and going outside. Okay. Yes. In another segment, we'll talk about right. outside. Right. Yeah. But going outside can alleviate so much mm -hmm. stress mm -hmm. if we mm -hmm. if we open our minds to what's going on. Listening very carefully to birds. Mm -hmm. um, almost listening to flowers open. Yeah. Just concentrating on those things can help children's stress go way down. And Yours as right. well. Yes. Right. Yours as well. Right. Yeah. We can do those things as a family yes. and really take care of our own needs and their needs. And it's still important to take care of right. the parents' needs. Mm -hmm. You know, so you take care of yourself. It's okay to be good to yourself and reduce that stress because ultimately it affects the whole family. Right. right. And I think um, it's we're not only talking about young, young children, we're talking about those adolescents, those yes. teenagers. Yes. Um, with a group of teenagers that I work with, one of the questions that I pose to them. Um, during the COVID um, time was uh, for them to identify stressors in their life. Yeah. Identify what it causes, what feelings, mm -hmm. um, physio physical yeah. changes, yeah. and then what they do to alleviate it. And it was an eye-opening experience for me to read those um, responses back. All of the, all of the the um, things they had to do that, that they didn't normally have to do, right. and they were recognizing what it was doing to themselves, and they were doing some really good things nice. awesome. um, 
to counteract that. One of the things that we do every day in our class is a mindful moment, but some of them were doing that at home without us in class. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So That's it's really awesome. great, just nice. trying to yeah. relax a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. think teachers yeah. need to be aware too of yeah. situations that they can cause stress for children in their yeah. classrooms, as even older kids. Um, I remember a, a student recounting a story that she was a thumb sucker in second grade and her teacher uh, had her stand up in front of class and had everybody laugh at her because she was still sucking her thumb in the second grade. And she said she never spoke about it, she never told her parents about it, but it scarred her yep. for the rest of her life. Yep. So, I had a first grade teacher stressful. scar me. Really? Yes. <laughs> she put a tape curl on my cheek because I had an accident in class because you had to go up to her desk to ask her to go to the bathroom and there was a whole line of kids turning in papers and when I got there it, it's too late. It's too <laughs> you late. It. I was six. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. She put she took this this tape and she made this curl on, she put it on my cheek and I had to wear it. I had to wear that I as a reminder. As a reminder. And I had, you know, we had to go outside. I had to sit on the bench because my mother had to go from work to go get home clothes. and get clothes oh. and go. Oh my goodness! And I, it scarred me for life. And yeah. I wanted to. I'm hoping that. Oh, this I can't say. I was hoping that she was in a rest home. Mm. Oh. And somebody put a tape curl, tape on, her curl cheek. on her cheek. Oh. oh. Hopefully somebody spoke to her about I'm, it much sooner than that. I'm, 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 <laughs> yeah. That happened, that was 60 years ago. Wow. And, and you still feel I that. I still yeah. feel it. I yeah. still feel it. Wow. Yeah. So it, what, what children feel so is careful. stress. Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to well, help them. We do. And even beyond, I mean, talk about stressful, but that was you know, yeah. painful and it's hurtful. Painful. That was yeah. intentionally well, was harming a child. Like, yeah, yeah of course. Like the thumb, the thumb sucker. That, yes. Yeah, that scarred her for yeah. life. Yeah. So we need to talk about what we can do for this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. take them to the places, let them breathe. What else can we do for children with stress? Well, I think we the awareness yeah. is, the, is one of the big points. Yeah. Recognize your stress level right. as a right. parent, as a teacher. Yeah. Recognize that your child's may be under stress or what it, what stress level they're at. Right. And then from there, start to try on purpose, like you're saying, they're doing things on purpose to relieve the stress, like right. be proactive and mm -hmm. do some of the things Becky right. already mentioned, um, you know, and, and Sharon about fresh air and right. things well, like that. Right, well, schedule. You yeah. Know, just, you know, every morning we're gonna eat breakfast and then we're gonna go for a walk. Yeah. You know, let's start our yeah. day off right because yeah. a lot of them are online all day. Yes. Or at least for periods of the time. Right. Parents are stressed during the day. They're yeah. trying to get their work done or they're working online. And so, and if you set these goals, we're going to do this in the morning, we're going to work for a couple of hours, then we're going to have a snack and we're going to go play with the dogs or we're going to play out back and do this. Yes. Or we're going to do some coloring and then we're going to have lunch and we're going to, so, you know, we're going to have some downtime and quiet time on our bed. Right. So if you have these, Things to look forward to, and you know they're consistent. You know there's that little light at the end of the tunnel. Right. right. You get your stress relievers, <clears throat> yeah. um, and it's it. We forget, right? We get right. busy, and we go, "Oh no, I didn't do that." But if we can create that right. schedule, and yes. we all stick to and it, and then have an understanding too of what seems to be small for us, mm -hmm. it's maybe huge. it's huge for, for the little children. guy. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you for watching the child's view, and. Um, Recognize stress in yourself, in your children, and do be proactive, get outside, enjoy the sunshine. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Child's View, and we're also on Instagram, so check us out. Thank you, bye-bye.